very nice job at the ESL tournament on Sunday. So mm -hmm. I'm really curious of seeing more of them. I saw them yesterday once or twice and they did really well. So I'm pretty excited right now, but I think we will go into the overview after we see the uh, speed buffs, at least for the red team, the blue team is not using them as it seems. Alrighty, here we go, opening up the map now. We're gonna see how it goes. The splits opening up now. The map, ugh, the game has just started here. Blue team is gonna send their Mesmer over here to the Waterfall Point. Red team doing a bit of an interesting split, sending their Elementalist over here to Quarry now. Blue team as well doing something pretty interesting. So Red team is gonna split, do a uh, sort of like 2 2 1 split, but they're both heading into Graveyard anyway. Um, blue team, however, waiting back a little bit here, gonna jump into a Shadow Refuge. Hawk's gonna choose to go to middle, while other members, uh, the Thief's gonna come up top here. Very interesting split from Eminem. Uh, and their Ranger's gonna head over to contest Quarry. Yeah, I think it was a good choice because they split the red team up quite a lot, but they now realize that the actual fight will go off a, on the graveyard. The teams are gathering ring around there. The one on one on quarry will take on for a while. So Nons of Nonsense is taking the lead in the early stages and getting uh, Stasic down very, very fast, and which is crucial. And look at these conditions rolling off on the red team at the moment. It's really, it's really nicely played here by the by the blue team here, getting Kid Stasis down. In addition to that, lowering other members of the red team as well that came into attempt to res. Carmel got pretty low from conditions there as well, so he's in a bit of a tough spot at the moment. But I think a lot of them have uh, regenerated from that. Unfortunately, a lot of cooldowns are wasted as well, so those aren't going to be available now in the future. Looking here now, Epoly still holding on strong. Almost none of his cooldowns have been used with the with the exception of his heal here, so he's holding on strong at the moment. For Saker, it does look like red team sort of on the defensive here at the moment as they try to fall back here, get themselves in a better position to engage in. And yeah, Caramel, currently uh, the focus target jumped down, there was a, a little mistake uh, paying it with his life at the moment, trying to get away with the misform, but the whole teams are focusing on Graveyard, we will see the engineer of the blue team, Hawk, now going to quarry just to take off pressure off mid, get the decap off, which he should be able to do, and again, uh, the red team coming back up, going again into mid, but they are still in a 4 on 3 situation, which is bad for them. Mm -hmm. So Hawk did manage to decap Quarry, but he is just going to jump into stealth and just completely evacuate that, only needing the decap. A very smart move by him. Not want to get that 1v1 and instead support his team over here at the Grey Bar, which it does seem they are going to get now, and it's going to force red team to back up to Quarry once more. Yeah, I don't know if, if it's the, the right choice. It probably is because it just uh, puts some pressure on without getting into any danger. Stacy mm -hmm. currently got a nice immobilize off, a nice uh, shatter afterwards, but uh, Hawk is able to stay alive. Conrad now trying to help him out. And of course, Nonsub Nonsense won the fight on Graveyard. They are in the leading position, sitting back, just watching the enemy where they move and trying to react to that because they are getting the lead. Indeed, looking at it now at the middle here, Hawk, Hawk, three members of uh, NN are just sort of holding on strong at the moment. I don't think they want to push too far. They're waiting for Red Team to engage. As we're going to see here over at the quarry, Red Team just grouping up at the moment, taking down Conrad Quest. He's been putting it down state here now. Hawk, uh, Hawk NG as well as Guts are going to try to come in and save Conrad here. A very bold move to say the least. We're going to throw an elixir R over Conrad's body, but unfortunately a stomp's going to come out too quickly. He's going to be knocked out here now, and the blue is going to be forced to retreat with only four members now. And they might be in a bit of trouble here at this mid fight as their, uh, as their Mesmer comes in to reinforce now. Yeah, we see them holding off quite well, so they are just buying time because they can for people gathering in mid. And the red team is hesitating right now. They are not pushing in as fast as they could. The respawn is there for Conrad, so he will be able to join the fight in just a second. And Nonstop Nonsense holding that quite well. And the red team now starting to engage, but still sitting back a bit too long for my... Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Yeah, I, I think, the, in all honesty, I think they're just scared to engage. Um, like, the blue team's doing an amazing job at just counter, like, pressuring them before the fight's even begun, in all honesty. And the red team's just having trouble finding that, that hole to poke through and, and that's needed to engage this fight. And we're seeing now they're paying that, that or uh, that red team's gonna pay the price for that now, because before the fight's even begun, Caramel's been knocked out for Sager and was at an extremely low health, and is about to get chain hunted out here by Guts as well. And a knockback is pretty much gonna guarantee he gets knocked out here now. They got Caramel back up, but for Sager's gonna be in trouble here now. With almost no members of the blue team taking any damage here, Red Team really is just going to be in a tough spot here. Yeah, Dira just went low for a while, but we see they are a team, they know how they can react to the different situations. We see Adira now actually going aggressive again without his heal, so he's very confident in his team that they will win this. Caramel going low again, we see Forsaker, Caramel, uh, Stasic was just stomped, Forsaker is going low, Caramel is downed, and 
even with the defending opposition and the 4 on 5 they had at least for a couple of seconds because Connor was taken off, Nonsub Nonsense is taking the fight to the enemy point with no problems pushing them back and defending their own two points. Indeed. So blue team playing extremely aggressive at the moment, even pushing on the quarry at the moment. I think they're really just trying to, as we're seeing here, deny red team as many points as possible, keep them off the point. And it's very unfortunate for the red team. If I were them at this point, I might want to consider sort of switching it up a bit, moving themselves around here now, get, possibly heading to Waterfall or something when they all spawn again. But it's definitely like a tough here for the red team. A caramel now going down to Adira. It was actually downed uh, for from non-stop non-stop but they will get him up and w as you just said the elementalist is going to waterfall just to take some pressure off which is important but guts is following in stealth right after him so it will depend which uh, one of them can win this one on one and i guess uh, this uh, the team with the uh, one 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 will have an advantage in the next couple of minutes in this game or at least in the next team fight mm -hmm. which is even more important for the red team, of course. Now, over here on this 1v1, I do think that Guts has the advantage here against Goblin Z, just in general. If, if uh, I'm trying to see if Goblin Z is up. Goblin Z is actually Scepter Dagger, so he may have a slight advantage here. But unfortunately, Conrad Quest is going to come in and reinforce that, so any advantage gain is just going to be completely turned around, especially with the Deer falling in here as well. This is the thing the blue team is doing right. They're not pushing completely into the third node, so when these sort of things happen, where they where they get where they get counter rushed in a 1v1 scenario, that Guts might have lost if if they're reinforced from N and Hen come in there. Um, they they weren't pushing completely so they do have time to fall back and reinforce themselves at that back point. Yeah, we just saw Hockey going back to Quarry, actually turning the the, uh, the thing around, pressuring the enemy while uh, Nonsub Nonsense is trying to get a hold on mid. Epley just went down because the blue team couldn't react fast enough because they were uh, kept on waterfall by two members of the red team. So red team in a good position now to taking the middle point which is crucial on this map just because it's a big point you can defend it quite easily but as it seems non-stop nonsense is may uh, are making their way into middle again epile uh, respawned already so they will be able to hold this at least for a while and of course they decap quarry even if hawk just lost the one-on-one mm -hmm. it's really just looking strong for the blue team at the moment we gotta remember here guys that nn is a full team here whereas the red team is more than likely if anything is if at most a super puck here and then they more than likely aren't a team as we're seeing here now so that's obviously attributing to this game's results at the moment the blue team up at the moment 390 points with one capture point actually they did lose waterfall and uh they do still have that one capture point and it's actually tied up in capture points now but, but blue team is up at the moment 390 points to 183 points for the red team yeah, but as we saw, you talked about switching the game up, and we saw the red team trying to pressure uh, Waterfall, and it resulted into a two cap for them after okay a long time. So they could have done this uh, um, this more quickly. But non some nonsense, they need to react right now. They are trying to get a hold on mid, of course, because it's uh, their central focus point of their play. So that's the main focus currently, and Waterfall being decapped again. So Goblin Z slept for a while, I guess. Mm hmm. And as we're seeing here now, Blue Team closing in on victory, 415 points. They are building very well in this middle flight at the moment. Just knocked out Caramel here. Conrad Quest trying to keep him down and downstate. Kid Stasic trying to come in here for the res as well. We could see him possibly come up here, but at the same time, I'm the best. Amen is also down directly next to him. The AoE is unfortunately just proving too much for either of them to handle now. I'm the best is out. Caramel is about to be knocked out here as well. And uh, Kid Stasic is forced to fall back here now as well. Going to try to do some bit of damage onto Conrad Quest, but unfortunately, it's just not enough for him to but He's going to have to be forced to fall back. And Guts is actually going to abuse this, uh, this relationship that Conrad Quest and Kid Stasic are having at the moment. And uh, going to decap that point for them as well. Yeah, Dero was actually stuck in a wall in mid, <laughs> so Forsaker had a chance to win this fight, but uh, Dero got out, and now we see eight confusion stacks on him, and he spammed some skills, so his uh, health points dropping very low, going down right now against two people of non nonsense, and with two points kept, and the third point probably um, under pressure at least, yeah. uh, they will definitely take this victory as a team. Now, now, what do you think Red Team could have done different in this match to sort of change up their strategy to possibly do better against Sanan here? Yeah, they, they started to change up things, not focusing on mid, because as we see in N, they are at least with two people in mid at all times. So they forced the, um, the four on two, I guess it was, on yeah. mid, or yeah. three on two, while attacking Waterfall, and it worked for them. They got the two points, they got the lead, and if they now would be at least a team or have team speak just to uh, communicate a bit better they could have taken mid in that small time span and actually got into the game if they 
did this earlier into the game, which is quite hard to analyze, especially if you only have one chance, not like a best of three or best of five, which we normally would see. So I guess if they played a lot more against non sub they could take them on. Indeed. So Blue Team's gonna take this match, non sub nonsense. They'll be getting ranking points, and uh, they'll be moving on for to nothing. Yeah, waiting. <laughs>